Hi viewers, in this video I'll tell you some great tricks of parallel parking without a hassle. After watching this video I can guarantee that you will become a parallel parking pro within less than 30 minutes of practicing and get full marks in parallel parking exam. The practice mentioned in this video has been tested on sedan and hatchback cars and not on large vehicles such as SUVs, light trucks or etc. Many drivers go to great lengths to avoid having to parallel park while parallel parking is a little tricky and takes some practice to master. There is no reason to be nervous about this driving skill. To learn parallel parking, the convenient way is to go to your driver's license office and ask for the space where you can practice your test. Almost all of the parallel parking exams conducted in this space is open to learners to practice. If you want to practice on your own, then you have to get 4 plastic cones from the store or online. Divide them into group 1 and 2. Place both groups of two plastic cones approximately 20 feet apart from each other, vertical to the curb. Place the right cone of both group on the curb so it touch the roadside or sidewalk, and the other two left cones 9 feet apart from the curb. The cones type may differ from each other as per region. This setting will simulate the standard size of parking space as well as driving license exam area as well. Once you find the parallel parking test space or created your own setting, follow the next procedures. Number 1. Prepare yourself. When you see the parking spot, slow down your car before 100 feet of the parking spot and turn on your right blinker that will indicate back drivers that you are ready to park. Number 2. Position your car. Make sure you are 2 feet away from the left cones before parking. Drive past the group 1 cones and stop slowly when your back tires are aligned with the group 1 cones. You must check your rear, left and right mirrors and ensure that your car is in correct position. Number 3. Start backing up. Once you have checked the mirrors, look straight and turn your steering wheel to extreme right. Make sure that you perform this action quickly. Once you turn the steering wheel to extreme right, slowly begin to reverse and put your car to stop until you see group 2 cones together in your car's left side mirror. Once you see both of the cones, put the gentle brake and stop the car. Number 4. Straighten the steering wheel. Straighten your wheel by one and a half time counterclockwise. It is important for you to pay attention on steering wheel because this can change the whole scenario. Once you have straightened your wheel quickly, start backing up again very slowly. As you are maneuvering your vehicle, continuously check all the mirrors. Now look for the left cone of group 1 on the edge of your right window. Once you see the cone, put the gentle brake and stop the car. Number 5. Begin turning left. Right after stopping the car, turn your steering wheel to extreme left quickly and start looking backwards. Now slowly start backing up one last time until you see group 2 cones at least 1 feet away from your car. Do not look front at this time or examiner may deduct your marks. Number 6. Adjust your position. In the last step, when you have successfully backed up your vehicle to the parking spot, turn the steering wheel clockwise one and a half time again to straighten your wheels. Your car may be too close to group 2 cones. You need to move your vehicle a little forward so that your car is in the middle of the parking spot. Congratulations, you have successfully learned parallel parking. Important tips Before start maneuvering, make sure vehicle is approximately 2 feet away from the cone. During the exam, don't forget to look at the mirrors and turn back as instructed in this video. Make sure to drive and reverse slowly. Don't use your car's rear view backup camera or you may fail the test. The examiner may also ask you not to use the backup camera. Complete the whole test within 20 to 30 seconds. Ensure your vehicle is 1 feet away from the curb. Thank you for watching. 